have a 97 Astro van behind me. Uh, we're gonna, going to be replacing the driver and passenger door speakers. They are a six and a half. And we're gonna show you how to do it step by step. Uh, show you how to test for polarity, where all the screws are, um, everything you need to know right on this video. All right, first couple steps. We got two little plugs right here. We need to remove those so that we can get access to the screws behind them. And I just use a little pick. Get kind of a better angle on it. Okay, so just remove that. And same thing for the top one. Then you have a Phillips screw right here, and then this little plastic thing just pulls out. Okay, now we're just gonna remove this panel. And it just has a little clip right here that you just pry out, and then a little tab right there. Okay. And then, this just pulls out. Just loosen it there, and then I'm gonna remove the two T30s right there. All right, the next step, we've got this bolt out, this bolt out, this piece off. We're just gonna pry up. Sometimes you have to use a little screwdriver to get under there. Pull straight out, and then up. Okay, right here is the six and a half inch speaker. Really easy to replace on this one. It's actually got a T10, or you can use a seven millimeter, whichever you prefer. I'm going to use the T10. All right, I'm going to show you guys how to test for polarity. Here's your factory wiring that I've cut already, and I've got the speaker here. I want to show you guys how to test for polarity uh, to know which one's positive, which one's negative. You have two wires obviously coming into the speaker, but you don't know which one's positive, which one's negative, because most manufacturers don't write on here positive or negative. Um, they use that just so that they know themselves. But what I'm going to show you is, if you can see the speaker, make sure I got this at a good angle so that you guys can see it. The speaker moves out first. So can you see that? But when I tap it with the battery, it moves out, which means the speaker's coming out this way first. If I flip this, I flip the battery, the speaker will move in the opposite direction first. So it'll go backwards towards the door, if you can see that. What we're looking for, positive polarity or in phase, um, is the speaker's going to come out first. Um, when it does that, then that makes your speaker work correctly and it's in phase so that you have depth and you have base in that speaker. So as of right now, the dark green is going to be our negative terminal. So when we go to look at the wire, we're gonna connect the dark green up to the negative terminal on the, new, on the new speaker. And the positive, obviously, is gonna be the light green. So hopefully that helps you. I'll also include a wiring diagram uh, so you can see it from there as well for the, <coughs> for the factory wiring. But then this way, you can test it on any speaker, any system. All you need is just enough wire on the back of your speaker to test the polarity and find out which direction the speaker is moving. Out of phase is in reverse, in phase is forward coming out first. So hopefully that helps you. Okay, so this is my negative terminal right here. I just use a good set of Klein's crimpers. They kind of work for the same process. And then my positive one. So on this particular speaker, the light green is our positive. The dark green is our negative. Then we're just gonna hook that into our new speaker. What I like to do, just cause these things don't fit real snug, 
what I like to do is take my crimpers and just put a little, just a little tug on there just so they don't slide off. Then do the same thing with the positive side. And that's pretty much it. I will take the speaker and mount it into its location and that is done. We'll put it back together. So hopefully this uh, video was educational for you. If it was, just please rate, subscribe, and comment. I'd love to hear from you guys. Thanks. Bye. Also, we got another video on uh, window motor replacement. Check that out at YouTube.com. Talk to you then.